This video will briefly introduce anthropometric data. The first question to ask is, what is anthropometric data? Understanding what this means will help you answer any question faced when it comes to this topic. Anthropometric data is the documented results of the process of obtaining the physical measurements of a patient. It is the data as well as some interpretation of that data. Common measurements include height, weight, skin fold tests, waist circumference, head circumference, and birth weight. It is very important to understand that there are some calculations that are considered anthropometric data. Things such as BMI, changes in growth rate, or the percentage changes in weight. These would all be considered calculated values related to the direct measurements but still would be considered anthropometric data. So now that we know what is considered anthropometric data, let's show you some examples of things that are not. Things that would not be included would be items such as any biochemical data. This includes anything found on a lab report such as lipid levels, glucose levels, comparisons, A1C levels, electrolyte levels, or even liver enzyme levels. It also does not include demographic data such as income or nationality, nor does it include activity levels, food consumption habits, limitations in food preparation, or even food insecurity. Other information that is not considered anthropometric data is the history of the client, with the exception of the items already mentioned that are needed for the calculations such as weight and growth changes. This would include medications, previous medical history, occupation, education, social beliefs, housing, or even living situations. So remember, anthropometric data once again consists of bodily measurements that can be only completed on an individual regardless of their age or medical conditions. 